main event tomorrow night. Live on Showtime Championship Boxing. First time two Filipinos have a world title belt, at least. Um, just how big is this for Nonito's plans? Oh, uh, you heard uh, Nonito say yesterday he's proud to be actually able to fight a fellow Filipino because it shows you how far Filipino boxing has come and that, um, uh, you know, he's excited about the fight, but he realizes as well that, you know, he's like, Gabayo is 14 years younger. And so he's hungry. Uh, Caballo's idol is Nonito Donaire. So um, he's going to be ready. And I told uh, Nonito, you better be ready as well because um, this guy is going to come with everything he's got. Nonito knows that uh, they are, both of them are two big punchers. So I think it's going to be a super exciting fight. And you know uh, that whenever Nonito Donaire fights, it's must see TV because he always is super exciting. Oh, yeah, last night was awesome and then yes. we're, we're looking forward to after this one we're not taking Raymark lightly but you know there, there's that Casemiro sweepstakes and I know that's Propellum's first card how I guess how does this affect the whole WB the bantamweight picture now well I think it doesn't really because uh, the WBO is as I understand going to rule uh, whether he's gonna be stripped of his title or not in the meantime Butland or Beko is for the interim WBO bantamweight title and then we'll see what's going to happen within the next 10 days so uh, it seems to me since it was really an open secret that uh, Casimiro is not going to make weight as a matter of fact some uh, reporters from Japan told me yesterday at the press conference um, thumbs up Casimiro is not going to make weight so it sort of like was an open secret um, uh, and uh, if he has struggles making weight maybe he should move up in weight uh, so we'll just have to see in the next 10 days what the ruling from the WBO will be but you know Okbeko against Butler is still a great fight uh, I remember I promoted some of Okbeko's fights uh, uh, I am the promoter now of uh, Butler uh, it's going to be a great fight and you know, uh, Paul Butler has been waiting for this opportunity, uh, and uh, here it is. Now uh, he can fight for it and uh, hopefully become WBO bantamweight world champion. So we could get Nonito versus Butler down the road. That's, we could, we could do that. We could do that absolutely. Uh, there's of course the monster Inoue as well. Uh, his promoter, Mr. Honda, is going to be here uh, in attendance uh, tomorrow, uh, ringside. So there's a lot of activity, and I would hope that um, a year from now, uh, hopefully before, we are going to have one undisputed 118-pound world champion. Yes. And then I know it's only last time we talked about Jerry Penalosa, you got to an and you took on another seasoned Filipino fighter now, Donnie Nietes. Uh, what yes, what uh, he is an amazing talent, we know that has an amazing record and I really hope that at this stage in his career I can deliver him some of the very big fights he deserves. I think he can compete and he can win at the absolute highest level. He has shown that he's a legendary fighter and I do hope now since he's with Probellum that his last chapter of his career is maybe going to be the most meaningful and the biggest yet uh, and I'm going to do whatever I can to help him get these biggest fights out there and show that he is the best in the division. Yeah, do you think he kind of like, his, his career was, he's always been great, um, three division champ, but he's always been kind of under the radar. Do you think it's really, it's not too late for Oh, now we're gonna, now we're gonna change that. And uh, I've done that with many fighters uh, who uh, were sort of like at the tail end of their career. And I uh, injected a new energy and new life in their careers. And you saw it with Nonito Donaire.